Donald Trump swept into Wisconsin like a cool wind off Lake Michigan, and he left in 2016 with an upset victory in a state that hadn't voted for a Republican for president since 1984. And he did it in part here in Door County, a swing county that voted twice for George W. Bush, twice for Barack Obama, and in 2016 for Donald Trump. Door County is a tree-lined peninsula jutting into Lake Michigan, home to dairy farms, apple orchards, multi-million dollar lakefront homes, and tourism. At the farmer's markets and quaint stalls on this scenic landscape, voters seem as divided as they were four years ago. I went into the biggest depression that American people could actually vote for somebody who treated other people that way. It just totally, totally blew me away. Our president has done a good job, and uh, whether he's going to get in or not, I don't know, but I kind of hope he does. Uh, I don't think the other guy is, uh, is strong enough to handle the job. With just days before the sun rises on the November 3rd election, party activists say both sides know, if not for Wisconsin, Hillary Clinton would be running for re-election, and they are more motivated this time. Very early on, they realized that Joe Biden was probably going to be the candidate that could best beat Donald Trump. There's a lot more enthusiasm and energy on both sides. Some people didn't realize probably that it, you know, they maybe didn't think it was going to go to Trump. So I think they know, okay, we won it last time. We've got a shot this time too. And, and I think people realize how pivotal Wisconsin is. In Wisconsin and elsewhere, political odds makers say battleground state polls are more reliable than they were when Trump won upset victories across the Great Lakes states. But 2016 has left many wary. I think that Biden will win Wisconsin, but I think it will be fairly narrow. Even though the polls are saying five to seven points, it wouldn't surprise me if it came down to a point like last time or maybe two points. Whatever the polls say, if there's one thing we learned from Wisconsin in 2016, it's that you can't take this Great Lakes state for granted. John Hendren, Al Jazeera, Door County, Wisconsin.